certainly appreciate this. It's the idea of going all this time without eating, huh? Well, the doctor told me I shouldn't have anything to have eat for at least eight hours, so true to my fashion, I overdid it like, like everything else. What doctor? Well, the doctor had the appointment with tonight who lives on the street nobody ever heard of. Doctor tells you not to eat? What kind of a doctor is that? Well, he's an abortionist, as a matter of fact. He probably engages in a number of other unsavory medical practices, but my particular business with him is in his capacity as an abortionist. It appears, then, that you've stubbed your toes, so to speak, while making your way along life's highway. Very well put. You're going to see this doctor, you, you don't want the child. <laughs> Hell no. Are you the outspoken type, ain't you, little chick? Am I shocking you? Well, it happens every day, and... I have no patience with all the whispered behind the hand hypocrisy about the facts of life, no matter how sordid they may sometimes be. Right out in the open, that's my motto. Right out in the open. What camp were you in, Mr. Glass? What? Well, in Germany, what concentration camp were you in? How do you know I was in a camp? The tattoo. Hmm? Oh. I'm writing a thesis on the camps. What? A thesis. Or, oh, you know, a college term paper, modern history. Oh. Maybe you'd like to contribute. Contribute? Well, I'm interviewing some survivors, you know, getting some fantastic stories. No. No question. Oh, well, I understand. Please do not understand me too quickly. Andre Gide said that. 